What's up guys, it's your boy Moan and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today guys, I wanted to do patch prediction. Uh, with the patch notes tomorrow, um, I want to give you guys an idea of what I think the patch is going to be based on what's going on, okay? <laughs> now, uh, as you guys know, there's a flood of information. Uh, with the last, you know, update, you know, there was like, oh, you know, data mine this and blah, 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 Ken Banner, Ken is next, Ken is this. And that ended up being a fluke, except, you know, unless you, you were one of those people that pulled Ken on the Bologna banner twice. <laughs> but anyway, um, so if you guys are looking at this game, uh, basically, let me give you guys a rundown of what I think this is going to be. So on Tuesday, I think it's going to be, or Wednesday, excuse me, it's already Tuesday. Uh, but on Wednesday, what I think it's going to be is going to be Hazel's specialty change, and I definitely think it's going to be Lydica. I think the Bologna banner is going to end, because um, there was like a teaser, kind of like a uh, teaser wallpaper uh, that they showed, I think, on Korea's side that showed the whole CIC family, um, uh, the group of the CIC. And with the CIC, Lydica was included in that in that photograph, and she's the last one. So I think Bologna is going to end with the two keys to freedom that's literally, literally getting ready to stop here. And then that's going to carry into a new side story with Lydica, and then Lydica will be the featured hero, okay? So Lydica will be the featured hero, and then underneath that, they'll do the Hazel specialty change based on the history of how they like to do things, you know, with the two-week spread and then the in-between hero heroes, right? So Zeno was like this in-between fellow hero that everybody can give for free uh, to kind of buy time. He's around for three weeks, you know, to chill, to give everybody, you know, the stuff. And then when Bologna's banner in, Lydica's going to pick up, and then that's going to close the CIC. Um, and then what's going to happen after the CIC ends uh, in two, two weeks later, I think it's going to transition into new content. And I think with the Guild Wars that's coming on the 31st, um, that's going to kind of fill in the content, right, to lead us to the next thing. And to be honest, guys, I think we might be getting introduced to the new content in Sidonia uh, here pretty soon. Um, with that being said... Uh, you guys will probably want to like, okay, so how are you so sure? How come you don't think it's Luna? Uh, to be honest, like I said, you know, in my, in my how I think Luna is going to drop video, um, after thinking about it some more, like, they could do Luna as a limited banner, maybe. Maybe they just give us the whole shebang this week and drop a Luna limited plus Lydica plus, um, uh, you know, plus Hazel specialty. But I, I just don't see that happening, you know? Uh, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but the reason I think it's going to be Lydica is, is, you know, just like always, I talk to you guys about, like, all right, look, guys, um, what's been happening? And, you know, shouts out to Kiro because, he, you know, he was the one that brought these up initially. It's like, when you look at... When you look at what happens when they drop new heroes, like in, in this case, Bologna's the newest hero. When you look at Bologna um, in her thing, uh, you know, and the same thing happened before. Bologna showed up um, in the connections. Where are you at, Bologna? Oh, wait. I probably want to click all the heroes. Um, but if you look at Bologna, come on. Where you at? There, there she is. If you go to her specialty, uh, you guys will see the Lydica show, shows up here. And one thing I've noticed is when a hero is getting ready to drop within a one to two week period, uh, the connection heroes always showed up. It's been really consistent. K-Ron uh, showed up. You know, all the new heroes showed up. <laughs> so if you guys aren't checking your connections after each individual patch, listen, I would advise that you look into it because I feel like it's a foreshadow for a lot of the heroes. Again, like I said, she's the last hero of the CIC, so I figure she's going to close out the faction. Now, what element she is, I don't know. She's got green eyes, maybe. Maybe that's signifying that she's going to be Earth. But to be honest, I think she's going to be Ice or Fire. I know you guys are tired of Ice heroes but i think she's going to be ice or fire and i think she's going to be some kind of damage dealing knight that brings bleed okay i think she's going to have some kind of bleed because from, from what i've seen her sword like turns into this whip thing and you know with whips you know cause bleeding right <laughs> in the movies i don't know you know otherwise <laughs> uh, but that's what i think uh is going to be the thing um i don't really know what to expect from the hazel special 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 Worcestershire sauce <laughs> from the Hazel specialty change. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, as you guys know, with the specialty changes, they always add like some kind of like unique counterpart, um, you know, with like some additions to like the past uh, tree. And then she also has like, she'll have some new addition to the skill three or maybe the skill one will change or something. But I have no idea <clears throat> uh, what I can't even like imagine in my brain 
what they're going to do with Hazel, but I can tell you guys that with the Hazel specialty, this will probably be one of the only specialty changes that I do. Um, just to be honest, because Hazel's already a beast. I talked about that in the Why Hazel video, but Hazel is absolutely nuts. Um, now, I know a lot of, you know, a question that I know a lot of you guys probably have is, do I think Lydica will be limited? Um, now, let me answer that with a big no, and I'm explaining to you why. The reason why I think Lydica will not be limited is because it just doesn't make sense to make her limited because she's the last hero to finish out uh, kind of like the story of the CIC, right? Um, if you pay attention or if you guys weren't here uh, for the DN banner, DN kind of marked uh, a big explanation of the prequel basically to the story that we know now uh, to, you know, with the continent of Ezra and all that stuff. So... Um, then DM was included, then Bask was included. So what I think the next limited banner will be, if it's not Luna, um, the next limited banner will be when we tie into the new continent of Sidonia. If you guys haven't seen that teaser where I talked about um, the new dude, Pavel, uh, with the gun blade and stuff like that, um, if you guys haven't seen that, he talks about uh, this new continent of Sidonia. So what I think will happen is they'll introduce this new continent of Sidonia for us. And with that continent uh, will come a new five-star hero, probably Pavel. If Pavel's not the five-star hero, then he's the one that we'll probably get for free. And there'll be another five-star hero. And then they'll explain the story of how the war tied into like this new continent. And then, you know, we're in there and, you know, the story is putting all, this, all the pieces into place of how we ended up there. And like I said, I feel like I feel like Guild Wars is a great way to kind of like tie all that together uh, to kind of put us in a place where we're real open for content to see, you know, what happened, um, what happened before and what led up to the events, you know, like with the CIC and stuff because they're fighting too. Um, and then along the way and what's going to happen and what's currently happening and basically how we as players are going to save the world and fight this war. Okay, so... That's overall what how I think that's going to pan out. Now, like I said, all of this could be wrong, but I'm just basing this off of everything that I've seen up to this point since we started playing this back in November and the patterns that they've been putting into play. But I want to pass the ball to you guys. What do you guys think are going to be the patches? You guys think they're going to do the Luna? You think, you think they're going to drop the Luna banner this week? Uh, do you think it's just going to be Hazel Specialty? Do you think it's just going to be Lydica? Do you think it's not going to be Lydica at all? Uh, do you think it's going to be some curveball hero that we didn't expect <laughs> to lead us into, um, you know, February with the Guild Wars? Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I'm super duper excited. You know, like, I'm happy to be able to share this love uh, that I have with this game and the joy that I experienced playing this game with you guys. And hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself playing this as well. I know you guys come from, like, a lot of different games. <laughs> and hopefully you guys have found your home just like I have with this game because it's, it's freaking awesome. So I'm praying for Lydica because, I listen, Bologna didn't treat me right, you know. <laughs> so I'm ready to give my love to Lydica. Um, I'm hoping that she's a tank uh, with some bleed some bleed action, maybe some defense break. Uh, so I can use those Aureus cards I've been pulling and uh, play with some Wyvern comps and, and, and show you guys and share with you guys my experience. And maybe you guys can learn something from that too and take it and apply it to your game. Uh, but like I said, let me know what you guys think about the, the patch or what you guys think is coming up soon. Uh, this is my prediction for the patch, and we'll see if I'm right. Uh, I've been I've been pretty pretty accurate with the with the stuff coming, but we'll, we'll see how this rolls out. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy Damone, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.